the tree. We cut it down. Now we have to take a couple of precautions. Now, one important thing you were telling me about, Glenn, is you really need to cut uh, about an inch off the end of uh, the tree stump. Now, why is that? Well, if you cut your tree down fresh, you have about an hour to get it in water. If you're not going to be able to get it into a stand with water within an hour, <laughs> this the, is uh, not as easy as it seems. <laughs> you really you act like this is so easy, but it's really not. I feel like I'm going to accidentally injure myself. <laughs> Continue, sorry. So you want to you want to you want to get it cut off at least an hour. You want to cut that butt, uh, that inch off the butt just before you put it in the water. Uh, the cambium layer will close up, the sap will close that up. Okay, so then what happens after I finally get this done? Then what then do you do? Then you uh, put it into your tree stand with water. And it'll I should take have cheated this time a too, tree, A tree, a <laughs> six to eight foot tree will take up to about a gallon of water a day. Really? So, so you need how a much, stand. There we go. There we Yay. go. Finally. <laughs> so after we get it's that It's really cut off, not that hard, folks. <laughs> you keep saying that. Cause that's because you do it how many times a day? Uh, a couple. Yeah. So you got uh, your experience with the right. cutting down trees. So we got to so pick now, this up. The cambium layer is all opened up now, ready to drink water. Okay. So it's just a matter of filling up your stand and putting it in. And you said that uh, that stand can hold about three gallons and a tree will um, drink up about one, ga gallon one gallon of water a day. a day. Now, you were telling me something earlier too, to get a great fresh scent in your home uh, with your tree, what do you do? Well, that's one of the big advantages with a fresh tree that you cut yourself. It's, it really has that evergreen fragrance uh -huh. and it fills your house with it. But if you want to really get that fragrance out, just pinch the buds a little bit. Take your fingernail and pinch the bud, and that'll kind of release the fragrance. The buds are full of sap. Oh. And that really yeah, has the uh, evergreen. Yeah, I can smell it already. Huh, that's really interesting. And if you're having company coming over, it's just something you can really enhance that fragrance. Wonderful. And then there you go. And you've got your Christmas tree. It smells great. You're staying safe by making sure that you keep that water filled. Now, how often do you need to refill the water? Uh, well, you know? every other day if you have, like this one holds three gallons, but you need to watch it. It depends on how much your stand holds. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Well, thank you so much, Glenn. And Sean, what do you think of our tree? We got our tree all done. It's ready to go and ready to decorate. Very nice. <laughs> he wants you to cut one well, for him you. and a bigger one. Oh, Sean says he wants his own, but a bigger one than yeah. my little guy right here. Come on out. <laughs> Thanks, Laura. Thank you. Holiday sales are off to a great start this year, but times are still tough for a lot of fans.